Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the Marvel Universe Walmart exclusive Savage, Frost Giant, and Loki from the Gigantic Battle series. Um, of course, this is one of two. The other one's um, Goliath and the Cybernetic Thor. Um, honestly, I found that one, decided on skipping it, but this guy just looked great. And of course, as you can see here in packaging, your Frost Giant is just massive. Very nice. He has a lot of nice detail. He comes with his helmet and his axe. And you also get Loki over there, who's kind of hard to see. And you also get a reprint of the Mighty Thor 175. So that makes sense. It's actually going to the back of the box here. And the read-up says, Adopted son of the King of Asgard, Loki was supposed to have been raised in ignorance of his giant heritage. In reality, the trickster was trapped by his nature. His compulsion to lie forced him to constantly engineer conflicts between the gods of Asgard and the giants of Jotunheim. Again and again, he plotted the destruction of his adopted home at the hands of the giants. Blows of his hated... Those... Sorry. Again and again, those plots fell apart under the hammer blows of his hated brother Thor. Still, Loki plots and works in secret with the giants to see the gods laid low and the crown of Asgard upon his brow. Of course, I'm um, strangely enough down here. You still have Norman Osborn, which was last year's theme instead of um, Steve Rogers. But you've also got a picture of Goliath and Thor. That being said, a very massive figure looks fantastic. Let's pull them out of the packaging. And here we have Loki and the Frost Giant out of packaging. Now, um. We'll go down to Loki real quick first. He's a nice enough figure. Um, definitely a more classic design for Loki, but I do like how they've got his horns on his helmet. They didn't come too warped out of packaging. Um, he has the standard articulation for a Marvel Universe. Ball jointed shoulders, bicep swivel, elbow joint, bin at the, I mean spin at the wrist. Of course, a very nice admin joint. Goes back a little too far, really. Turns. Head is full 360. So let's go forward, back, out, double joint at the knee, and have an ankle joint. So, um, yeah, not much to say about Loki. Hey, once again, he's a nice enough figure. If I had bought him just um, on his own, I might feel a little let down, but that would be due to a lot of other reasons, like lack of accessories and things like that, where Loki himself is really an accessory in this package. So that being said, Loki's a fine figure. Moving on to the Savage Frost Giant. Um, now I've got to admit, he's a little, he likes to topple over. I don't know why that is, but it seems like if you leave him alone too long, he'll just tilt back on his own. Um, but that being said, a very nice job of detail in this. I think they said they've just, um, taken some of the older 12-inch icon figures and tweaked them a little bit to give us these. But it's a very nice looking figure. Now, um, his axe cannot stay in his hand all that well. As you can see, he can grip it and keep it from falling out, but this hand is closed much too tightly to get the axe in. Um, this hand has each um, finger joint is it, it's on its own is on its own joint with the exception of the thumb. So you kinda gotta bend them all in to get them to grip it so it'll stay but not all that well. Exactly what I'm talking about there. Let's pull his helmet off him. Um, some very nice detail on the helmet. They definitely made it look like bone. There's like some battle damage in it. The tusks are a softer plastic, yet, yet once again they didn't come warped, so I'm really digging the helmet. Um, same deal for the axe. There's a lot of nice detail on it. And the frost giant as well. He's got the nose ring, the nasty scowl. They've actually got some white on his, I don't know what, his shoulder armor. Looks like snow or frost. And that really, really makes him look great. Um, and it continues all down his armor. So, panning back out here. The Frost Giant's articulation, which let's get him in frame. He turns left and right at the head, would do a full 360 if not hindered by his shoulder pads. Um, once again, shoulder pads are hindering the arms, which are on a ball joint. Also, spin at the bicep. Bend at the elbow, although a touch stiff. Spin and bend at the wrist. Ow. Um, his torso articulation, I mean his admin articulation, he's got that very audible click going on. He can go down to here, back to about here. Kind of got to keep him crouched so he won't topple over. And on this hand, the both arms are the same with the exception of the hand, which has the multiple finger joints, as I've already said. 
Um, legs, once again, look like they're on a ball joint, but his little tunic is hindering the movement in it. They spin, go forward and back slightly, are double jointed at the knee, and have an ankle joint. So, um, I didn't invest in the Gigantic Battles when they first came out last year because I just wasn't crazy about the Marvel Universe line. Um, it has grown on me since, and I gotta say, for 25 bucks, you do get a lot, especially for a store exclusive, which are usually way overpriced for what you get. Um, you get the huge figure, you get the mini one, which in this case is Loki, and you actually get some nice accessories for him. Now, the Frost Giant isn't quite as stable as I'd like him to be, but his detail's great, his articulation's great, and once again, the $25 price tag for these two is just a really good deal. Can't get Loki to stand on his own. Come on, Loki. There we go. So I, I wish he had held his axe a little bit better, and I wish he had been a little more stable, but other than that, those are really my only gripes about this package. Um... That being said, 25 bucks once again, is a great deal on this. I definitely recommend picking them up. I have friends who have bought multiples because they consider them an army builder. It's quite an expensive army builder, but still I guess it technically is. And that being said, this is JTrain997, and I'll see you soon, YouTube.